We begin with Isaiah 44 verse 24, where we are reminded of our divine origin. This is what the Lord says, your Redeemer, who formed you in the womb. I am the Lord, the maker of all things, who stretches out the heavens, who spreads out the earth by myself. This verse emphasizes the omnipotent nature of the Lord, who alone has the power to create all that exists. Moving on to Matthew 20 verse 16, so the last will be first and the first will be last. This verse is a reminder of the divine justice that prevails in the kingdom of heaven, where worldly status holds no value. In Jude chapter 1 verse 6 we find a warning for those who rebel against divine authority. The angels who did not keep their positions of authority but abandoned their proper dwelling, these he has kept in darkness, bound with everlasting chains for judgment on the great day. This verse serves as a stern reminder of the consequences of disobedience. Next we delve into 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 9. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. This verse reassures us of God's patience and his desire for all to find salvation. Finally, we end with Psalm 34 verse 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. This verse provides comfort and hope to those who are suffering, reminding us of God's compassionate nature. In summary, these verses remind us of the omnipotent nature of the Lord, the value of divine justice, the consequences of disobedience, God's patience and desire for salvation, and His compassion for the suffering. As we reflect on these divine truths, let us remember that the Word of God is a living entity, constantly revealing new depths of wisdom and understanding. Each verse carries a universe of divine wisdom, waiting to be discovered and understood. So, in your journey through life, carry these truths in your heart, for they have the power to transform your life and your understanding of the divine.